Hi everyone, what's going on? If you have a photographer in the family, you might be wondering what camera related gift uh, you can get them. Or you might just be simply looking for uh, a new accessory to make you a gift. In this video, I picked up 20 photography gifts uh, idea that any photographer will absolutely love. The capture clip by Peak Design is a one size fits all solution for DSLR and mirrorless camera to safely attach uh, a camera to your belt, backpack, or bag strap. You know how annoying it is to dig into your bag and fish out your camera every time you want to take a shot, especially if you are shooting a landscape or you are on the go when traveling. I love this accessory, it's the ideal hands-free way to always have your camera at the ready. Peak design straps are a wonderful accessory, a photographer would be happy to have them. I have a couple of them, uh, the slide light and the leash model that uh, is the smallest and more compact. It's almost seat belt material that feels good on your neck and or shoulder and doesn't get sweaty like uh, thick neoprene straps. The quick connect system makes it easy to take off the camera if you are using a tripod and the best part about them is uh, that you can easily clip and unclip from one camera to another. For both photography and video creation, variable neutral density filters are very popular and they are used to reduce the amount of light that enters a camera. Variable ND filters allows you to adjust levels of light simply by rotating the outer elements of the filter so you don't have to keep swapping between individual filters. The Sandmark Motion Pro is a 3 to 6 stop range BND filter, which is quite ideal since 3 to 6 stops are often the amount of light reduction that allows you to get your shadow speed slow down enough to get a thinner looking water or clouds. It's perfect for the blue hour when the light levels uh, can still be a little too high for ultra slow shutter speeds. For videos, uh, it's very handy to maintain a steady shutter speed to get uh, that wonderful cinematic feel, sometimes difficult to achieve uh, in bright light, uh, even when stopping down the lens to minimum aperture. The image quality of the Motion Pro is excellent both for video and stills, uh, well built, uh, and it's the perfect filter for travelers uh, who want the best of both worlds practicality and image quality. This is the tool that you always have to have in your camera bag. It's a multi-tool from a small rig with seven different functional tools. It's uh, compact and easy to be carried around, uh, preventing the loss of tiny wrenches and screwdrivers. This is a real lifesaver for those of us who constantly change our base plate or constantly tighten some of those screw on our rigs, uh, the tripod and so on. It's a fantastic and really affordable gift for every photographer or filmmaker or anybody that needs a lovely multi-tool instead of using a key or a coin. Highly recommended. It might not be the most exciting Christmas present under the tree, but an SSD portable hard drive is guaranteed to be the most useful gift you could ever get a photographer. There are tons on the market, but I love the portable SanDisk SSD driver as a non-to-go external driver. It's super small, super reliable for backing up your images and videos when traveling, but it's also super fast to handle big files on video editing. The USB 3 port in fact helps you achieve a quick data transfer with the latest computers, but it's also backward compatible with the USB 2 types as well. The Aptor MC is a super compact RGB light with a heap of really nice features for portable lighting on the fly. I found it to be a great option to set up quickly for production lighting, portraits, and you need color accuracy when you are setting up scene lighting. The build quality of the MC feels uh, premium, with the buttons and control being responsive. Uh, the body is made from a combination of uh, aluminum and plastic with super strong magnets uh, on the back to stick it uh, on any metal surface you want. You can connect up to MC to your phone with the Sirius uh, Link app. Using a smartphone, you have more flexibility in defining colors. You can even pick up a color from the environment and make up to reproduce it. The applications are endless. This is a bit of special case item, but for portraits and advertising photographers and also for content creators who want consistent color, the x right Color Checker Passport is a very useful tool for dealing with tricky lighting conditions. You can use uh, the color checker to create a custom color profile for your camera or simply to find the right white balance for a scene. The best way to edit color accurately in post-production is to use a device like the x writer A1 display to calibrate and profile a monitor for accurate color. 
This one is a bit more expensive than other options on the market, but I found it to be the most consistent and accurate available at this price range. I think this is a must have, especially for Mac users, since uh, this calibrator corrects not just the color or luminosity, but also the contrast of your monitor. Even still based photographers are shooting a lot of video these days and the DATD3 shotgun mic is a lovely mic with excellent sound quality that will improve dramatically the audio you are capturing. This microphone is as simple as it gets, it attaches to your camera's hot shoe or a boom arm, has zero external controls, just the on-off switch and runs with a single AAA battery. Super easy to connect the input port on your camera using the audio cable that comes with the mic the Dati D3 has been my favorite overall shotgun mic for about the last two years. I'm using it to record my voice for all the videos on my channel and for about 100 bucks, it's an excellent gift I highly recommend. Every now and then your camera sensor needs to be cleaned and one of my favorite tools to clean it is the LED magnifier. It allows you to look down into the camera and magnifies your sensor so you can sit there and literally see the dust particles and everything that's in uh, and really let uh, you help pinpoint uh, where you need to clean. In terms of sensor cleaning, the most popular method is a wet sensor cleaning using dedicated sticks and a specific solution to apply to the swabs and literally wipe it across your sensor to clean it. My favorite tools are the VSGO APS-C sensor cleaning swab kit used in combination with the Eclipse optic cleaning fluid. Another wonderful tool I've been using for many years is the eyelid gel sensor stick. It has no liquid, there is no wet process with it. This stick has a little piece of gel on the end and you just stick it onto your sensor and it will pull off all the dust from your camera sensor. It's super easy and very efficient. A power bank is a lovely accessory to have with you when traveling a portable and lightweight battery that packs uh, in a 10,000 milliamp hour. So it's good for a day or two on the road. You can charge your camera, your phone, your headphones, uh, really anything you throw at it. I've been loving this pouch. This is my favorite travel electronics organizer. It's made of waterproof and shockproof nylon material, and it's designed with multiple pockets and various sizes of elastic bands, providing great flexibility for organizing electronics accessories. It's great for chargers, cables, flash drivers, uh, small accessories, so basically anything. If you're looking for cool tech uh, gift, uh, either for you or a photographer friend, this gadget will be a great choice. The KNF converter is perfect for photographers who are passionate about experimenting with vintage lenses uh, and digital cameras. If you want to use a lens uh, not originally made for your camera, that's where lens adapters come in. They allow you to use a lens on a camera even when the mounts don't match. The mount adapter converter I use allows Canon FD lenses to fit on Fujifilm X mount mirrorless cameras. There is a whole world behind adapters and this tool can be the right tool to start experimenting with vintage lenses. Okay, this filter is quite amazing. Essentially, the black soft diffusion filter is designed to add some atmosphere into an image. To create this effect, KNF concept has created a coating with lots of random dots of white and black spread across the filter. I used this filter intensively during my recent trips, both for videos and stills, and I really enjoyed it. It really helps make digital images look more organic, film-like. It spreads the light around a little, lowering the overall contrast and adding a soft glow to highlights. If you're looking for something to lessen that seemingly undefinable digital look found in your photographs and video, then I think this filter is going to be an excellent accessory to have. This is hands down one of my favorite tools for film photography. I participated in the Labbox Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign early in 2017, since I found it a great alternative to the standard development tanks. The Labbox is a multi-format tank that allows developing film from start to end in full daylight, bypassing the need to load the rolls in the dark. It has interchangeable modules to swap between 35mm and 120 formats, a built-in timer and thermometer, and it's to replace the tank and dark bag with its 2-in-1 loader developer in a small, easy-to-use package. 
This system is the perfect choice for a fairly simple film developing tank and I highly recommend it both for beginners and seasoned film shooters. I'm pretty sure any camera lover would appreciate a fun gift like an instant camera. There are lots of reasons to reach for an instant camera. I've been using the SQ6 model for two years and the ability to hands off a photo to someone right after you have snapped or for documenting fun moments during your trip to later create your own photo album stitching all the images by hand can't be matched with the digital capture. There is something about physical prints that makes a great connection between view and image. If you don't want to carry an extra camera around and shoot with your phone or mirrorless camera, then the Istax Link Wide printer might be an amazing alternative. The new Link Wide app is at the core of this system. And it's clean and easy to navigate. You can create single prints, colleges, and much other fun stuff. There are quite a few ways you could use the Link Wide printer, but in the end, its main goal is fun. It's not for museum quality prints, it's a printer for people who want photographs to be artifacts that exist in the real world. I've been a user of Tony Kuiper's Luminosity masks for many, many years, back when they were just action creating channels. In my opinion, the TK panel is the most reliable and powerful panel out there. Tony continues to innovate, making the panel faster and more powerful. I use the latest TK8 panel on most of my images. The main difference compared with some other luminosity masks out there is that the TK panel creates a luminosity mask using Photoshop calculations rather than curve layers. And this does give you much better results, especially for extreme adjustments. An easy and expected gift for photographers who already have all the equipment in the world is a smartphone app. There are so many available. One of my favorites ever though is Peakvisor that I've been using since its beta version. This app is ideal for outdoor photographers and I've always been impressed with the abilities of this app. It has become my go-to for learning about uh, the topography of mountains, uh, learning trails. Through augmented reality, it creates a camera 3D panorama overlay, showing you all the info on your surroundings from not only the nearest mountains, but also castles, huts and waterfalls. It identifies mountains elevation, class and uh, provides lots of additional information. I enjoy using the teleport features to see the layouts of a specific area. The 3D feature is super useful when you want to find uh, the direction to a trail. Then the live and picture-based landscape matching is amazing and I started using quite often the trail function to track hiking using the smartphone's GPS. So this app is a must-have for any mountain enthusiast. A high-quality fine art print is one of the easiest and most affordable options to gift a friend. And in my opinion, it's a much better choice than the run-off-the-mill posters from home decor stores. It's a unique gift and it will continue to please the eye long after being gifted. It's also a fantastic way to support the work of the photographer you bought it from. Last but not least, why not gift a great book on self-development? Photographers very easily get lost in the creativity and excitement of creating that they forget some other key factors that can help their professional growth. One of the key components to help people make any kind of improvements is understanding behavior change. For many reasons, uh, reading this book uh, resonated with me. Atomic Habits by James Clear is a step-by-step -step system for creating good habits uh, and breaking bad habits. The purpose is to help you achieve remarkable results in every field uh, more efficiently and methodically. This is one of the better self-development books uh, that I ever read. Uh, and when it comes to building habits, uh, I think this is the best habit building book on the market. And honestly, I don't know anyone that would say no to a gift like this. That's all for this year's gift guide. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.